Hey guys, welcome to the Cyborg here for the SCG Columbus Open. I'm Ken Crocker here with our 2015 Players Champion, Hockey Enthusiast, DJ Extraordinaire. Keep going. I like this. Uh, SCG Open winner. Magic Streamer. Magic Streamer. Bassist and Teach Me Human. I had no idea what you just said. Jim Davis, everyone. Jim Davis. Bass player and Teach Me Human. Okay, bass player. Nice plug. It was yep. a good plug. Just keep plugging stuff. Let's go. All right. Forget the deck. We can't no, do no, that. No, no, we're here for the deck. No one wants tech. to see the deck. No, everyone wants to see this right, deck maybe they because want to see you the deck. took the time to register a Frontier Bivouac deck. I did. I, I've talked a lot of trash over the last. How long has this card been legal? Like this, two this years, card, maybe. This card right here. This is a, a Savage Knuckle Blade. I posted on Twitter the earlier. The best card in standard. That I'm playing four of the worst card in standard. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is. Um, yeah, I've always felt teamer decks are really, really bad. The card's actually like good. Yeah. But like, the, it's, a four it's, four. it's a trap for three. Right. It's Anapenza with some some it's, bonuses. It's basically Anapenza, but right. better. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, but the problem is the cards around it are usually really, really bad. So it's kind of a big trap. So we try to mitigate that this time. No, I fell in the trap. Oh, I just just <laughs> right just, into just, the trap. Just sprung the trap. So you're playing a collected company deck, mm. very similar to the Andy Ferguson collected company deck from last week, where you played Obzon. You decided to go Teamer. Correct. Because now you get to play Savage Knuckle Blade. Just the better and a right. Penza. Yeah. And then you get to play other cards like, I don't know, maybe Jace Rids Prodigy. For that, example. That card's that card not as good as Savage Knuckle Blade. But it, it's, it's like, like right under right. Savage Knuckle Blade. Yeah, it's like it just made the cut. <laughs> In Teamer, there's not enough good cards to play, so you gotta play some some average ones like Jace. You gotta like play Jace. some average ones like yeah. Jace. I mean he's just an O2. Right. I mean so can't attack with it. <laughs> you can actually. So so what why did you decide to play this? So I saw the uh, the Abzan company deck. And um, the mana was like a little wonky. You had like the black white two drop, and like some of the removal was awkward. I there was four Jamoka's command in the deck, right? Sure. And it just seemed like that's a card you really kind of have to be like ahead in tempo to play. Okay. But like it seemed like the deck wasn't really curving out great because there were so many threes. Yeah. And like I was worried that like you, I think you want a removal spell to cast before you cast your creatures. Sure. Before you cast your company. We saw it a lot of times that he just had Jamoka's command in hand, but no right. creatures. And you can't really go like collect a company into Jamoka's command Correct. that easily. Right. And then like later in the game, it's harder to cast because your opponent has mana open for removal. So it just that card seemed a little sketchy to me. And um, it just seemed like it, we were just trying to decide what colors you can play instead. Sure. I was looking at doing like a, a Jeskai green sort Jeskai of thing. Jeskai green. Where kind of Jeskai splashing for company. Sure. Where we'd have Knuckle Blade and Mantis Rider and company and then mostly just Jeskai All cards. All cards. But there's, they're only going to get two drops. Cause okay. Because you, your base blue red at that point. Yeah. I was considering like Frostwalker or some crazy stuff, but that was a little... I'm pretty sure if you, uh, if you had Frostwalker in this deck, it would be as teamer as possible. It's true. So. True, ferocious. But um, <laughs> but yeah, so we, we decided just to go Get Teamer. Get stubborn denial in there. Um, this card's really, really, so really, So Mattery really Shaper, good. new Eldrazi. Really good. So it seems to be one of the reasons everyone's going towards the Collected Company strategy, at least, yeah, with different colors, is that Mattery Shaper's just so good, they're saying. It's, it's so sort of like, 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 like what In Burnout. this deck, mm -hmm. what makes it so good? It just, I mean, it's good for the same reasons Company is good. Okay. You're trying to maximize your hits. You have a lot of threes. A lot of powerful creatures, and then it just, it's really like Kitchen Finks where it dies and comes back. And then like, occasionally it'll be a company, so it goes back to your hand. Occasionally you'll hit a, a, a Dent Protector and just put it back in your hand anyway, which is cool. So you're basically just playing Obzom Company from from Modern, because you have Anafenza and Savage Knuckle Blade, kind and then you have yeah. Kitchen Finks That's fair. and Mattery Shaper, and then you have Eternal Witness yeah, and Dent Protector. You're basically just playing a Modern yeah, deck sure. in exactly. Standard. Yep. I have my lightning bolts and my, uh, my birds of paradise. You got your lightning bolts and uh, fiery impulse, your birds of paradise. A little slower, but you got that right Claw mystic. Right. And then you got Tarmogoyf. That's you right. You got Tarmogoyf because yeah. you got Sylvan Advocate. Snapcaster so, Mage. Snapcaster Mage yeah. and Jason's Vrind Prodigy. Wow. So you were talking deck. a lot of trash about this teamer deck, but you're basically playing a modern deck in standard. Right. Basically. Yeah. And we even have a pretty good mana base. You have the fetch lands. It's pretty good. I mean, you have the frontier bivouac. Yeah, we are playing bivouac, unfortunately. So that's good. Make some but creature lands. Are, yes, you got some of the creature lands. You, you're only playing one wandering funeral, but right. you're playing four lumbering falls. Right. Uh, obviously, the green's more important. You're pretty mm -hmm. much base green. So. Yeah, it's it's important to have a green or blue on turn two for a Jace or the green two drops. So. Sure. And then you, you're running nine of the pain lands. Mm -hmm. And I assume that's so you can cast your matter reshaper pretty right. easily. So like it's you have my coast and Shivan Reef end up being tri lands essentially for their two respective colors and colorless. Then we have one battlefield colorless forge. Colorless is not a color. So what is it called? It's it's just colorless. It's not a color. Okay, so 
two colors and a not color. Okay, there we go. There we, okay. there we go. And then we have Battlefield Forge, which is a, a dual land for red it's or mountain. not a color, or white if you want to like, trick your opponent it's a little a bit. It's a colorless mountain. Right. Okay. Painful. That makes sense. Painful mountain. It's a painful mountain. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have the Cinder Glade, you know. Sure. You gotta... It actually isn't very good in this deck, honestly, because you're it's usually tapped, but it's just a fetchable duel, so it's, it's fine. It's a fetchable duel that you're going to need every mm -hmm. once in a while. And then the sideboard, you got your stereotypical kind of red, bluish sideboard where right. you got a bunch of removal, mm -hmm. you got Radiant Flames, which doesn't work with colorless because it's not a color. Actually, I, I kind of wanted to do that in the last game. So I had a Jason play, and I wanted to be able to cast Radiant Flames for one. For one. Against the tokens. So, so just colorless, colorless. But, but I didn't have the proper pain lands in play, so yes. we couldn't pull off the, the one, one, one point Radiant Flames. But you can Flames. make it go from anywhere from one to three in this deck. Right. So that's Not zero, though. Not zero. That'd be tough. Not possible. No. Even though you have a colorless mountain. Right. Okay. It'd be difficult. And then you have your counter magic, Disdainful Stroke, Dispel. We've all heard about these. Right. Well, the real question I got here is you have one natural state, which is basically nature's claim. So once again, we're mm -hmm. back to modern. Sure, but, of course. But what exactly are you bringing this for? Kind of just a hedge card, honestly. I mean, like the Silk Wrap decks, you know, Silk Wrap and um, Stasis Snare okay. are both good against me because they're very good against Matter Reshaper, good against Deathmiss Raptor, and just like a good one of. I mean, it's cool to flash back with Jace. Um, it's a good tempo play. If they soak wrap your creature, you can uh, get it back at the end of the turn. It's sort of just like catch all. Honestly, like the teamer colors don't offer a ton in the way of sideboard cards. So I want to kind of have some niche cards sure. that are good in certain situations. So um, is that the point for the rending volleys too? Basically, yeah. Because rending volleys gonna kill a know, monster. Mentor. I know we're playing a modern deck, but Twin got banned, so you don't need the. They rending banned volley. Twin. They banned Twin, so you don't Ooh. need the rending volleys anymore. That's awkward. Yeah. It's true. All right. Well, they will throw those out, but um. But yeah, I mean, the Bollies are good against Ojutai, okay. um, Mon Monastery Mentor, Mantis Rider. Um, again, it kind of looks like a niche card that's very good at what it does, but not like, I'm not going to board it in every round. But because the sideboard cards aren't super good, it's good to have some niche cards. And also, you can't really take too many creatures out of the deck. Because the company, your companies will right, be bad. The company puts a lot of deck building restrictions on you, where you need to play creatures that cost three or less, and you need to play impactful creatures, and you can't play a lot of spells. Sure. So it's a little awkward that my sideboard's all spells. So, but, so you have a lot of spells, but you can't afford to bring a lot of them in. Yeah, so you see, just kind of like hedge in here and there. Because, I mean, you got a couple right. of fiery impulses slash lightning bolts right. and some roasts, right. uh, you know, main. So combust, obviously. Sure. Uh, so here's the question. Do you recommend this deck for the Pro Tour? Because modern Pro Tour is coming up. Modern sure. Regionals, hashtag sure. SCG Regionals is I coming mean, up. Yeah, you could throw so like, you got this modern deck yeah. that you're playing in standard. Mm -hmm. Do you suggest it? I say, anyone. I say yes. Did you think? Do you think you broke it? I think you should probably get like one breeding pool though. One breeding pool. Just so your foothills can get the green. I mean, okay. the blue. That's All probably. Right. But otherwise, I think the deck's pretty good as is. I, no changes need to be made. Basically, a little bit of yeah. the mana base. Yeah. yeah. Like always, the mana okay. base could be better. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. But I, I can see this deck doing some serious damage to the Pro Tour. Yeah. So you, well, you heard it here first. Jim Davis broke the modern and standard format with that card right there. Jim, th thanks for taking the time to size for the sideboard. Really appreciate it. Definitely. And check out a stream at Jim Davis MTG on Twitch. Another plug from Jim Davis, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you guys stay tuned for more standard action here in Columbus.